Hey guys, it's Madeline Rebecca here, and today we're going to be going over the new iOS 14 update. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something. Now, I'll be doing a screen recording of my phone in a little bit, but just to kind of talk about it. Apple has finally added widgets, which if you have a friend that is an Android user, you know that this has been a thing that they've dealt with for a while. Um, kind of, if you look more into it, a lot of the things that we have now, um, Androids have had, which I'm a big Apple girl and I really don't like Android, so it kind of sucks. But I feel like Apple has put their own twist on it by letting us customize it. And always Apple looks better whenever it comes to being influencer or having anything to do with social media. We all know that the camera's better, whatever. I could go on a tangent about it, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the iOS 14 update is a big trend. It's a big thing on TikTok right now, personalizing it. So just a few little things first. There's a bunch of apps you can get. So we have the Cool Widgets app, and then we also have the Widget Smith app. Um, besides that, it kind of just depends on what apps you already have. Like there's a few, like your camera roll, you can just add your own widget to that. Um, battery life, you can add your own widget. Just a bunch of different kind of things like weather, you know, some stuff that's already installed in your iPhone. So those are kind of whatever. But if you want to customize it, you have, like I said, the color widgets and the widget smith. Also, a lot of people, as you see, they're changing their like screens of Snapchat or TikTok or Facebook. Like they're having their little app covers differently. That's fine and dandy, but like my personal opinion on that, we'll talk about at the end of the video. So <laughs> let's just get started. Also, like I said, Madeline Rebecca, I post once a week trying to figure out my style. Like and subscribe for more and make sure you comment below if you've even had the update and what your opinions are about it. All right guys, so now I'm gonna start screen recording on my iPhone. My case is from Typey Case. I will put that link below. As far as the lock screen, everything is the exact same. And then let's go to this. So the first screen that we have, we have the battery I have at my top. And then I personally like the calendar being next. So I can just see it's in the second widget mode, which is the thin kind of rectangular way. Then I have my maps, which just also gives me the options for like food to eat. I can look up stuff. I thought that was really, really neat. Then I just have my weather app because I personally like to see the weather. I live in Florida and the weather is different every single second. Then, since I like to travel, I have the times around the world, such as Rome, Honolulu, Los Angeles, and Paris. Those are just kind of, more of kind of like a dream board. <laughs> then I have my photos, so there's me and my friend Cassidy. <laughs> and then I just have my other weather app, Snapchat, and Outlook. Just, and I had those before, those have already been a thing, so that was just kind of added. So that's that, and on this one I can actually move it, um, but I either like to have my things that I've done, or I like to do that. So. That is just that screen. Then we go to my first screen. This one is not the home screen that I usually keep it on, but this is the one that I guess is my first option. I have the five past five, which I think is very aesthetically pleasing. Then I have the hands holding, and then I have this photo album. Now this is a photo album of like 100 pictures of me and my boyfriend, so it makes it a little bit easier every time it's different that I go on it. And then my home screen, I have the color widget, um, the September 22nd Tuesday. That's just really pretty. I also like that it has the battery on it. So that's really cool. Then I did a picture of my friends and I have the girls just want to have fun. And then I tried to keep, since I didn't want to do the shortcuts, um, like I was talking about earlier, you can change the cover of your app. But the problem with that is it'll go from the, like you'll click on the app, it'll go to the shortcuts app, then it'll go to Snapchat. And that's just so extra. Like, don't get me wrong. I love that kind of stuff too. I love decorating and spending time on my phone, but like, I feel like that was unnecessary and I already like the groups that I have, which I'll talk about in a little bit. So I already like the groups that I have, so I figured I would just keep it unless I got really bored one day and then I will do that. But until then, we're gonna keep it. So yeah, so I have all my stuff, you know, like I said, my first group of apps is time consuming, which is just my social media. I like to make a little joke about it. <laughs> and so that's my second screen. So then my third screen is the same thing. I have Make Me Famous, which is just like YouTube stuff. I have Perfecting, which is my um, is my photo editing apps. I have See the World, which is my traveling apps. Um, and then I have You've Got Mail, which is <laughs> just a little lame, but I have You've Got Mail. So then besides that, I have my Widget Smith, which is Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. 
a picture that I like and then how many steps I've done because I've really been into counting my steps recently and then I have motivation and that also changes every single day um, that is another widget that you can add it's just the app motivation and then this is my mood board which is my fourth screen um, I feel like this is very aesthetically pleasing very comforting you know people do mood boards in their room I figured having it on my phone would be really interesting and then my last one my fifth one this is more of a darker trendy vibe was what I was going for so I have the moon it also tells me when the sun will set and when the sun will rise and then I obviously have my intense you know bleep your bad vibes bro <laughs> which I think is really cool but you know bad bleep so then I've got my health you've got this take my money which is everything that I have to pay for um career which is my job and then apple probs which is stuff that I just have to have is that with the new iOS 14 you have all this Apple I library which is really really cool but yeah guys so that is my personal iOS 14 update trend that's what I've done with it I think it's really really cool like I said unique I don't think the shortcuts are worth it um, as far as on the Apple um, cover screen but besides that I think it's really cool um, it's a cool thing to waste my time on but hey what am I really doing these days so that is that guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment below your trends if you want to post screenshots of it. Tag me in your videos and your TikToks of it. I posted one on my channel so I will link that below as well. Or I'll link my account below. Um, and yeah, just make sure you interact with this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!